Hi, it's Sarah from CH Homestead. I know it's been a while since I've done a video with an update for the property and everything that's been going on after that flood that we had um, and the video is uploaded. We've just been so busy having to do repairs and everything like that, having the babies and all that stuff. So I figured I would take a little tour on the homestead and show you what's changed in the past month. All right, so here we are at the grow out pen. We've taken quite a few chickens out of here. Turkeys are getting very big. We still have some Americanas in here. We've got our French Copper Morans in here. And of course our Silkies, which will be staying in here. We also just moved some Polish out here the other day. And they're getting acclimated. Our Silkies have started laying, so that's exciting. We're starting to incubate those eggs. So that'll bring some revenue into the property to help cover feed costs, which is always nice. And everybody in here is doing good. All right, heading into our brooding room. In here, we've got a lot going on. I have to turn the light on. So we have hatched ducklings we've got some in here we've got some outside they are so cute but so messy we have to clean this area out multiple times a day we just started trying the pelleted bedding and that seems to be working better at keeping it dry because they just make such a mess looks like they've wasted all their water so i'm going to be filling that up here in a second in this section of our brooding box, got some sleeping chickens. These are all doing good. We've got some sea brides. We've got some silkies in here. We've got some frizzles in here. There it goes. And they're all doing good this morning. Got some. These ones are... It's kind of what we do with the ones that are going to be going outside shortly. They get acclimated. They don't have any heat light on them. And it just seems we seem to have better luck once we put them outside if they're moved separate for a little while. And then we have all of our incubators that are set up. So... We've got some duck eggs still in here, which I don't think are going to hatch. We have been having a very hard time hatching the Muscovies. We finally had some hatch, but I don't think these are going to hatch. We're quite a few days past. We've just kind of been leaving them go. We don't have anything major to put in them right at this very second. So we figured we would give them another day or so, and then if they don't hatch, we're going to put them... We're going to get rid of them and refill them. We just got some hatching eggs from somebody that we're going to be putting in there. These will go on lockdown on Monday. These are just farm mix chicks that we'll sell. We've got quail eggs in here. These also go on lockdown um, on Monday and hopefully we'll hatch quite a few of these and most the majority of these will be up for sale. And then the end of the week, the chicken eggs in here will go on lockdown. So we'll have to move them to a different incubator, put them on lockdown and wait for those to hatch. So lots of babies going to be going on. We've got our homemade quail hutch that Renee built. So we've got quail in here. Just used an old dresser. And this will be getting moved outside, but we wanted to kind of acclimate them to the cooler temperatures. It's going to go outside under our lean-to probably in the next day or so because it's supposed to be up in the 80s. So, but they seem to be doing good. They just got put in there yesterday. They haven't quite figured out that they can fly all around that area, but they'll eventually get it. But they're all doing good. All right, we got our buck pen here. So there's Oliver over there, Baxter over here, and we have moved our Wyan, red Wyandotte chickens over here, trying to get our breeds separated so we can start having some pure eggs to hatch. So our Wyandotte roosters over here. And our hens are over here, so can't wait till we can start hatching some pure red wine dots. All right, so this is our big goat pen, which we aren't using for goats right now. We only have chickens in here. 
But we have chickens in here. There is a lot of chickens in here. We have a couple roosters over here that they've just been hanging out because we already have roosters with the ones that we have separated. But quite a bit of these birds are going to be going up for sale here shortly. We're going to go through, pick out our breeding stock, which ones we want to keep. And then we're going to sell the other ones because we don't need this many Americanas. And there's some of our ducklings we've moved outside. They're doing so good. We just moved them outside yesterday. But we had rain all day yesterday, so they were happy. They were good to go. Because they don't care. But it's a little muddy out here. And we have our Wyandots over here and our couple white chickens. Unfortunately, we don't have a rooster over here with them. We did lose our light Brahma rooster. One of the goats stepped on it and broke its neck. Unfortunately, we we're, were so upset about that. So we are still back on the hunt for a light Brahma rooster. But the ladies are doing good over here. You see, they've got their water. The ducks have their water all nasty. They love to swim in that, and they make such a mess. So we'll change that out here in a little bit. All right, we're out here with all the goats and the babies. And we have also moved our sapphire gems over on this side where the birthing stalls are at so that they can be bred pure. So we've got latte over there. Don't mind my horrible shave job. Always shave in the spring because it gets really warm here. And they just get hot. And then there is her baby, Layla. Everybody's been disbudded, so Layla's getting a little snack there. <laughs> There's Elsa. Again, don't mind the shave job. And her baby, Evie. And there's Mocha. And her, one of her little bucks. We named him Malachi. And he's going to be getting sold. But he's so cute. And we've got Liberty. And she is definitely bred. Um, so we are expecting babies in August, so super excited about that. Hopefully she gives us some dough. She did take when she was put in with Oliver. And the little multicolored boy. I originally thought he was pulled. He wasn't, unfortunately. We named him Maverick. Really wish that I could keep him because I just love his colorings, but... We just can't justify keeping another buck, so we're going to sell him. So cute. So playful. When we first put the chickens over here, they were definitely interesting. The babies didn't know what to think. Liberty trying to jump up on me. Hi, sweetie. She's getting her little udder in the back, so we definitely know that she took... Everybody here is doing really good. There's Evie snack, sneaking a little drink from Mom. We're milking all the mamas once a day. They get milked in the morning because they're separated from their babies at night. Because they're all over a month old. So, they're doing really good. They're eating hay. Not so much the grain. They're not big into the grain. But they definitely eat their hay, and they're just thriving. They're doing so good. And the chickens. All right, we're going to go up here to the greenhouse, show you what we got going on in here. Not a ton of life, but they're starting to pop. Oh, i got to do some watering. We've got lots of things started. 
Just waiting for them to sprout. Looks like we got a tiny sprout there. That's a serrano pepper. Tiny sprouts there. We got some life going on over here. We've got some cucumbers coming up. All of our lettuces are coming up. And spinach. And that's all looking good. Cabbages. Cauliflower. That tomato plant's not doing great. But that one is. Oh, we got some new sprouts over here. We got some Roma tomatoes coming up. Some romaine. We got some strawberry plants over here that we're going to be planting. Tomato plant down there. So, slowly but surely, things are starting to come up. Not super great, but we've had just oddly cold temperatures lately. And like I say, I definitely got to water this and open things up because it's 91 degrees in here. Getting a little warm. Sun's out. Just waiting for things to sprout. Hopefully get our garden started. But according to the Almanac this year, our last frost date's been pushed back to May 22nd. So we've got some time here. All right, got to get these watered real quick. Walk over here. As you can see, everything is getting green here. It is beautiful in Tennessee. Just gorgeous. Love and seeing the green again. But over here, we were trying some new stuff. Because we haven't gotten our raised beds put in. So, like I say, work never ends. But we've got some onions going in totes over here. They're doing really, really well over here. And we are doing potatoes in bags. Looks like we might have a little bit of issue with some of the plants there. Need to get them buried again. So potatoes in bags, like I said, we've never done this, but you basically when they when the plant pops above the soil, then you just bury it and it keeps growing. And then after they flowered, then you just dump the bag out and you've got your potatoes. So We'll see how it works. Never done it before, but we figured we would try it. And we've got multiple kinds of potatoes growing. Hi, Baxter. How you doing, buddy? All the chickens thinking they're going to get some scratch. They follow me around the perimeter waiting for me to throw them some scratch. So we'll have to make sure I do that here in a minute. But look at that view. The mountains just never get old. It's a beautiful, clear day. And we're gonna go up to the cabin and show you what Don's working on up there. All right, we're up here at the cabin. As you can see, we've got some new doors put in. Don's in here working. It's so nice having power up here now. <coughs> Excuse me. He's working on doing insulation. We've gotten the drywall. So once he gets the insulation done, he's gonna go run a drywall lift and get the ceiling put up so we can put our ceiling fans up because before we know it, it's gonna be so hot in here, it's gonna be horrible to try to work in here. So he wants to get the ceiling up so that we, we can have at least the ceiling fans running. Still have lots of walls to put in. But a lot of the insulation's done. Little pieces of insulation have to be done. There's the front door there. It looks kind of crazy in here. Can't really run any much insulation in there, which is going to be our bedroom because we have all the wood stacked. So we've been working on playing in the boards as well. So we've got a huge stack of boards that are planed already for the walls. So those are ready to be put up. 
but he really wanted to focus on the ceiling first, so that's why we took a break from that to get the ceiling done. But work in progress. Can't wait till it's all done. It's going to be so exciting to have our own space. And then, of course, the porch. And it's so nice. Everything's getting green. Don's taking a little break. So beautiful. Can't wait to sit on this front porch and just look at the view and relax at night. Got some grass coming up where they put our leach field in, but we're going to have to plant grass seed. But... We figure might as well wait to do that until we finish getting all the area cleared for what's going to be the goat pen over here on the side. Because we drag the trees across the front yard there. So, And that's still a work in progress. We've had so much rain. And if you watch the flooding video, it was just crazy. So lots more trees to take down. Fencing to put up. It's probably going to be an all-summer project because we're trying to do this along with the cabin, along with every other project that's going on. Just so beautiful out here. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our the update of what's going on on our property. We've got a busy day ahead of us. We've got lots of projects going on. Um... The general cleanup of everything, get water jugs scrubbed, maybe possibly getting a couple more goats shaved, maybe some copper boluses. They really need to get their copper boluses. And hopefully going to go through and maybe decide some of the chickens we're going to get rid of. But who knows what will get done. All we can do is what we can do, and we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.